I mean, honestly, I can't even believe I went through this many. Hello, my beautiful creative souls, and welcome back for today's video. I have a super fun one here for you today. Today, we're going to go through my 2022 stationary empties. This is a video that I've seen uh, other people do and I've never successfully collected uh, things that I've emptied in a year before myself, mostly because I like to just kind of get rid of things, but I did it for a whole year and I'm really excited to share with you uh, what I discovered. So I will say really quick, I did put in a couple of sheets at the beginning of the year of stickers that I used up and I stopped doing that rather quickly and I'm a little upset about it. I wish I had uh, continued with this throughout the year. So these are all like little pieces of sticker sheets and sticker backings and things that I used and I'd really like to see how many I actually go through in a year. So I think uh, for 2023 this is something that I'm going to be better about keeping but I did kind of fall off so this is not right like <laughs> this is not an accurate representation at all but I did use up some sticker sheets. This year I went through eight tape roller refills or tape rollers. Usually I try to just buy refills, but I had a really hard time finding refills for my favorites this year. My favorite is the Ad Tech Crafters Tape Permanent. Uh, it's really good. You get a lot for your money. The refills are usually pretty affordable. Uh, but like I said, I wasn't able to find the refills at a reasonable price, which was disappointing. But I went through five of the Ad Tech Crafters tape, two of the Tombow Permanent Adhesive ones. These aren't my favorite. They do work well, but I think for the amount you get for the money, it's not really my favorite option. Uh, and then these were a brand that I tried uh, the year before and I had had like one left. You don't get a lot on the roll and um, there are no refills. So I wouldn't recommend those, but that's uh, kind of my most used supply <laughs> is adhesive. So I went through eight of the tape runners. I went through two rolls of double-sided tape. I get these again in bulk uh, on Amazon. I'll try to leave as many things as I can linked below that I do enjoy, but I went through two of those. I went through four of my favorite glue sticks. These are the Dilutions Creative Diary glue stick. So I went through those. Honestly, I thought it was going to be more, but... I suppose not. I also went through a roll of shipping packing tape. These I use to cover my collages. So when I like collage covers and stuff. So that was really fun. So that was kind of what I went through for adhesive in 2022. Moving along to tape, I finished one of these. This I use as washi tape. This is the Scotch Create permanent single-sided tape but it's acid free so it's archival so that's why I use this and it's super crystal clear so I went through a whole roll of that I also finished two rolls of washi tape one was this wine tape and I just kind of use it um I don't use it as a decorative tape I use it as a functional tape and I wish I had kept whatever this was but I guess I used up a second roll of washi so technically three rolls of washi tape a couple of random things. I went through one of these refills for my label maker, my Dymo label maker. This is the black uh, one. So I went through one of those. I went through two rolls of string that I used to bind for my journals. So that was really fun, my journal insert binding um, string. And then I also finished my date stamp. I have had this date stamp since 2017 and 2017 is inked. So I use this every year that I could literally from 2017 to 2022 and it's literally one of my favorite supplies and I did find a perpetual one actually that I just purchased. This was is from Becky Higgins 
and um, it doesn't have like 2023, but you can do the last two digits of the year. So now I have one that I can use literally until it falls apart, which I'm super excited about. And there's little, you put little stars in between like the dates, which is cool. But I finished uh, my date stamp in 2022. Moving on to tabs and sticky notes, I finished uh, three things of tabs. So I know that these were the uh, white post-it tabs. So I finished a set of those. These were the Avery glitter tabs. It wasn't this specific glitter tab because I do have like one or two of this one left, but it had come in a pack of it. So that's what that was. And then these were also Avery tabs that I finished. And I believe they looked like they looked like this, but they were blue. So those were the tabs that I finished in 2022. And then I also finished, I actually finished three things of post-its. I had saved uh, another full stack of post-its on my desk to put in here, but I then I spilled tea all over it. So I ended up just putting, throwing it away. But I did finish two blocks of these pastel sticky notes. In 2022 which I actually got from the Dollar Tree and are like my new favorite thing I love the pastels and I also finished this little uh, baby stack of sticky notes that I've had been hoarding for literally like 10 years so that was really fun to finish up now moving on to pens and markers so in 2022, a surprise to no one, I'm sure I finished my Arteza acrylic marker in space black. I'm super sad about this and it's like Ollie's out of stock <laughs> and I need a new one. Uh, I still have the super thin tip has some paint in it, but uh, this one is, she's done so. So and she's not dry, like dried out. She's dry, like gone. <laughs> so that was uh, something I used up in 2022. I also used up a permanent marker, so like a Sharpie fine points. I used up a mild liner. This is the like pale original yellow color. So I used that to the bone. And then I also used up this. This is one of my favorite art uh, gel pens. I will use this in my creative journal on top of paint and all kinds of things. Uh, and it never lets me down. So this is the 0.8 millimeter Pentel Arts Hybrid Technica. Uh, so I used that up and I already have like been going through my replacement. And then random pens that I used up. So I have a ton of pens. I haven't bought any in a long time. I usually get uh, gifted them or I'm working through ones that I like bought in bulk uh in college like five years ago so it was really nice to finish some of these up so I finished up this Pilot G2 mini uh Pilot G2 is not my favorite they often smudge when I I'm not patient enough to let them dry but they do write really smooth so I finished that up I just recently finished this. this is the Energel Klena I know I can get refills for this so I will probably keep the body and get a refill but um I just kind of kept all the bodies so that you guys could see see that I went through two Bic regular old crystal ballpoint pens I really love just a good old crystal Bic pen they're like some of my favorites I went through a Sarasa Zebra pen, a 0.7. This was the first time I had used a Sarasa Zebra pen, and I actually really like it, and I will definitely be getting a refill for this because uh, I just really enjoy the way that it writes. I feel like it writes very similarly to the Pilot G2, but it's less uh, smeary, so I did enjoy that. Uh, another fun gel pen, this is Bic Velocity Gel in 0.7. I used that up and I do have refills for that. My ride or die absolute favorite of all time is the Uniball Signo 207 uh, in terms of gel pens. So I used up one of those. Uh, Arteza black gel pen in 0.5. Can you tell what color I write in? <laughs> 
I write in black. <laughs> uh, they're all black. Okay, so yeah, this is the Arteza 0.5 gel pen in black. I have no idea if they have refills for this or not. I also don't know if they have this style anymore, but I used that up. And then I really, really enjoyed this. This is the Papermate Ink Joy in 0.7. And I used this up all the way. And I have another one on my desk that's like almost all the way done. So I'm going to count it as two. I really did like the Papermate Ink Joy. And it may be stealing my heart over the Uniball. We'll see. So top three pens of the year. Uh, Zebra Sarasa 0.7. Ink Joy Papermate gel 0.7 and Uniball Signo 207. I think it's safe to say that 0.7 is my favorite um, nib size. And I have another one too that's like basically gone. Let me get it just so I can show you the brand. I'm like, let me get it. It's right next to me. Uh, this, the Bic Gelosity in 0.5. Is that what this says it is? Okay, so this is the Bic Velocity Gel, but I like the Bic Gelocity. Um, this is like an awesome gel ballpoint pen and is usually mostly waterproof. And I'm, I, oh, I guess it's done. <laughs> I guess that one's empty. Uh, I don't know how much writing I'm going to be doing on that, but so I guess we can add that to the, uh, to the supply there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. I went through 10 black gel pens. So those are all the pens and markers that I went through in 2022. And last but not least, I thought it'd be fun to show you the ink samples I went through in 2022. And a lot of these ended up being like my favorites, which I will definitely be reordering. Although there was one problem child in the mix, which we will talk about. When I order fountain pen ink, I often will order it off of Goulet pens and they give them to you in this little vial and you get like two mils. It's like this much. I usually order two samples of the same color. One, because I feel like you need the extra little bit to really get a full fill on your pen to test it out. And two, all of my fountain pens are Twisbees, which have the vacuum filling mechanism, which means I can't... Um, I often can't use the last little bit in the bottle, which is really a bummer because I just can't suck it up into the pen. There's no way to syringe fill it. So um, if when I say I've used them up and there's still a little bit left in the bottom, that's why it's because I literally can't get it into the pen. I'm sure you're going to tell me 8,000 amazing ways to do that below, but keep in mind, again, this is a vacuum filling pen. <laughs> anyway, uh, Diamine Coral, literally favorite pink red color ever. It's this one. I swatched them out with a little like paintbrush for you beforehand. I'll bring them up nice and close for you. So Diamine Coral, definitely a favorite. Literally favorite yellow of all time now is this one. I'm not even going to pretend that I can pronounce that because I definitely can't. Diamine Tropical Glow. I really enjoyed this one as well. This was a shimmering ink. Uh, another favorite that I'll definitely be reordering is this one. Again, don't know how to pronounce it. Apologies. Um, and then this one was the problem child, the Diamine Magical Forest. I love it. It is a shimmering ink. I use shimmering inks in my fountain pen. It's controversial. Most people say you shouldn't. I've never had a problem with it until this ink. And I have other Diamine glittering inks. I don't know if it was just the sample that I got had all of the glitter in the bottom uh, for some reason, like they filled it that way or whatever, but that clogged my pen and is still not working correctly, even after flushing it and cleaning it and cleaning it and cleaning it and cleaning it. So I'm not super happy about that, but it is what it is. So yeah, um, that's what I went through. Ink samples, two, four, six, eight, eight ink samples in 2022. I wish I could get the last little bit out of the bottom, but it is what it is. If I do buy a big bottle, I'll just dump the, this little bit in there so I won't like waste the ink, but uh, it is a bummer that that's kind of... All right, that is all of my empties for 2022. I hope that you enjoyed this video. It was really fun to just kind of see what I used throughout the year. I really expected there to be 
more art supply type of empties in here, like paint and things. This was my first time doing something like this, and I thought it was really interesting to see what I actually go through. I grossly overestimate uh, how many things I go through in terms of like glue and paint. I definitely would have said like I probably used three of these this year, but I, I've only used one. <laughs> You know, so it was really interesting to see all of that. It was fun to be able to use up some of my post-it notes. Really exciting to see the washi kind of uh, be transitioning out of my stash. I was pretty surprised to see how many pens that I used up. And I could definitely tell what inks I need to be purchasing full bottles of uh, next year. So, and I can't believe my date stamp ended. <laughs> so yeah, this is just a really fun exercise. I hope that you guys enjoyed. It allowed me to talk about my favorites a little bit, which was fun. And I look forward to hearing your thoughts in the comments. Or did I mention any of your favorites? Uh, do you do something like this? What, what do you find you used up most? I will definitely be attempting to do this again for next year, especially with these sticker backs. I think it would be really fun to actually see how many stickers I go through since I am a sticker connoisseur. <laughs> uh, that would be really fun. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today, and I will see you guys in my next one. Take care, guys. Bye!